someone tell me why it's so difficult to get out of bed in the winter i literally my alarm went off at six o'clock so i was like i'm gonna look to monday you know i didn't get out of bed until like half past eight mm. Mm. but i'm up i've done my skincare I'm not doing anything with the hair today, the hair can just stay like this until later on. I made myself some crunchy nuts for breakfast. I'm gonna have a reset day today, so I just thought, let me take you along with my day. I don't know where to start, I feel like maybe tidy my bedroom would be a good place to start because I have got some work that I need to get ready for at some point. Let's tidy this room. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I... I just thought we could spend a little... A little reset day together let's catch up i feel like i just want to speak quite a lot today just in a talking mood i just thought we could spend the day together i'm just going to sit here eat my breakfast and then i'm going to show you my new journals because i picked up some new journals and i really want to get into my journaling because i was on it so much last year and i just i've left lost it i've completely lost it. i've lost how to do it i just really need to try again so let me eat my breakfast and we can do that just about to start tidying my bedroom but i need to show you this the lighting's not very good me and my boyfriend was ha at his uncle's house and they're obsessed with harry potter and i was saying how i've never watched harry potter or i've never read them i don't i don't really know what harry potter is they was telling me oh like you need to read them do you like reading and i was like yeah i like reading i've been obsessed with reading it this year i've read so much that I was like, I'm going to get myself the Harry Potter books. I'm going to get them all. I'm going to actually read it well. I got to my boyfriend's and he's bought me the whole collection of Harry Potter books. We've literally got them all. I don't know how I'm going to attempt to read that one. Because that one is huge. But I'm going to start reading them today. I just thought that was the cutest little thing that he just listened to the fact I was going to start reading Harry Potter. Good morning. You come to say good morning to everyone. Have you come to say good morning to everyone? I feel like every time I come into a little video, you all know what this is going to mean. I've got another haul for you. I've got another little haul for you. This next section of the video is kindly sponsored by Romeway. I've got a little mini Romeway haul to show you. These are a bunch of random pieces. I'm going to start off with this top because I absolutely love this top. As you can see, I've already worn it so it is inside out. I paired this for my Instagram with a little b a blue denim mini cargo skirt and I just thought it was so cool. It reminds me of a diesel top, like the, a diesel inspired top. It's just a grey long sleeve thick little... It's like sweater material, like a long sweater sweater t-shirt. This looks tiny but it is actually like really fitting. I think it's, I got small in this and usually I am like a size 8. It's like proper like sucks my body and it like sits on my body really nicely i wasn't sure how it was going to fit because it is a little bit longer than top the tops i'd usually go for this also has a cut out circle right at the top and it's just got an a in an a in so th that's why it reminded me of a diesel inspired top i love this this is such nice thick quality this literally feels like you're wearing a jumper when you're wearing it i love it next up i actually picked up this little white teddy bug jacket i just thought this was such a nice winter jacket do you know just like a thinner everyday winter jacket when you don't want to wear anything too thick i thought this was really cute for that so it's just this i'll put this on so you can see it a little better it's also cropped but it's not like that cropped where it's up here it just fits where your jean jeans usually sit i really like this this is on the thinner side it's not like a thick thick jacket but i thought with a scarf this would be really cute this also has really nice buttons all on it i always love this like print of button i kind of wish that the pockets at the top was more here because usually i like to just like slide my hands in my pockets here <laughs> because i don't wear gloves because of my nails like they irritate me so i never wear gloves so i always like to keep my hands in my pockets here but it's not a big deal i did pick this up, this up in a medium because i wanted it a little bit more oversized next up i'm going to show you this bag the reason i got this bag was the reason i got this bag was to wear with the jumper but like i said it's in the wash i picked up a white i'll stick the clip in here so, now so it makes sense i picked up this white knitted white sweater jumper and it had 
cherries in red and i thought red's the color of the season i also want a red bag and this is just like a mini baguette red bag and i thought this was really cute this is only cheap like it's not the best quality but it is only cheap so what can you expect put some stuff in here just to wear this bag in do you know like the suede material of bags they always come in come all folded up don't they so i need to put some stuff in just to wear this bag in just so it's just so it, it sits how it's meant to sit. But I just thought this was really cute. A really nice little mini bag. And like I said, red is the colour of the season. So I wanted a nice little red bag. The pyjamas I picked up, these aren't really winter pyjamas. I've got hair. I've got hairs everywhere today. I'm having a really bad hair day. I just wanted a thin, a shorter pair of pyjamas. Because now it's the winter. I am getting too hot under my duvet. Because I've been wearing long pyjamas. You know, like long trousers and a long sleeve top pajamas hair so i just wanted something that was not really summery but also but summer styled so i just picked up these black and white like leopard print little floaty pajamas hair it comes with the shorts and also the matching buttoned up shirt i actually think this is really cute i actually think this is really cute but this the top is reminding me of do you know when men wear them like pattern tops when they go on holiday it's reminding me of that. Next up, I actually picked up a little blazer. This was, again, just to wear with jeans if I want to dress up through the through the winter. So it's just this plain, plain black little cropped blazer. This doesn't have much much structure to it. It's more like of a floaty, floaty blazer. This needs ironing so bad because it's just been folded up it's just, i've just took it out of the packaging this doesn't have much structure it has the tiniest bit of padding in i'll again put this on just so you can see it a little bit better it's this time of year i never know what to wear right if i go out for meals and stuff and i just want to keep it really basic i thought this with a pair of jeans and then a pair of boots could look really cute i could just put a pair of little bralette on underneath this so then i can make sure it's still quite dressy i've not tried this on and this seems I don't know if I've put it on wrong or this seems quite small. This is an oversized. I think I stayed true to size with this. This is actually quite small. But you see my vision. Imagine with a pair of blue denim jeans. I could wear some silver heels. Wear a little silver bralette underneath. Style this with loads and loads of jewellery. I just thought that was a really nice going out outfit. And the last thing I did pick up was a gym set. Because you know I've been obsessed with gym sets. This is a pack of three. I'm not sure whether I like these leggings. Because these seem like extremely high waist. Because like the waistband's there. And it ends here. Like that. I don't know if it's just stretchy or if that's w way too big. By the way ignore my dressing table. I'm getting a new dressing table. That one's broke. The drawer of it's broke. I've got too much stuff. These are like the bubble, show the bubble material little gym sets. This is like that and it's just grey and black. I do actually think this will be really cute. I will have to try this on. The waistband seems really big on that. It also came with a little bra leg. This has got the tiniest amount of padding in, which I don't mind because I don't always like wearing a bra, but I was just expecting a little bit more because I've been loving all the gym sets that I picked up from Romwe. This is like a crossover backless kind of bra bralette, spot, bralette sports bra. And the reason I got it is because I really liked that it came with a jacket. It just comes with like a little cropped pullover, pullover gym jacket. And I thought that would look really cute, but the quality of this isn't the best. I was expecting loads more because I have been loving the... Loving the gym wear from Romy at the minute. Maybe if I try this on, I might like it. Maybe I won't. We'll have to see. Anyway, that is everything I did pick up this time round from Romy. My lips feel so dry. Again, I just want to say a huge thank you to Romy for sponsoring this section of the video. I will leave the discount code on screen here. Before I keep on rambling, because you all know what I'm like, let's get straight back on into the video.
I can't stop yawning this morning. I don't know what's I don't know what's wrong. I'm just so tired. I've been at my boyfriend's all weekend, so sometimes I find it hard coming back from my boyfriend. You know when his routine is so different to yours, and then you've got to switch back. I find that quite hard sometimes. I've been eating shit all weekend. Like Thursday, Thursday we had Burger King. Friday we had McDonald's. Saturday we had Saturday we literally had the Chinese. Funny story about the Chinese though. We my boyfriend went to the toilet i nipped back into back into our room after i we had eaten and we left the chinese on the table because we was just we was literally just nipping he just went to, he just went to the toilet i was just i can't remember what i was getting probably just getting my vaseline or something next minute all i could hear was like cling 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 his dog he jumped onto the table and it was eating the leftover chinese <laughs> he's got two british bulldogs and the put He's not a puppy anymore, but we still call him a puppy. He is just this, just wild. He shouldn't be able to jump that high, like the table's quite high, and he shouldn't... I didn't really think Bulldogs was capable of doing that. So, when I walked back in and he was on the table... Funny story of the day. I have got myself dressed now, though. I've put on this little... This whole outfit's from Glow Mode. I've got this little, like, gym pink gym top on and then also these white white joggers i just thought chilled down i'm gonna sit now and reply to all my emails i kind of want subway for lunch i spend way too much money on food but i kind of want subway for lunch but it's healthy and i haven't done a food shop I've done a food shop so i don't really have anything in to eat so i think I think I'm gonna get myself a subway. I've tidied my room the best I could. There's stuff everywhere. It's half past 11 now, so if I order it now, then. Here in time for lunch. I need to edit it. This is on my boyfriend's dress. Let me quickly just change that. My subway order is the most boring subway order. I'm gonna order myself this, and I'm also gonna. It's on the way, I'm gonna start, order, start editing my. YouTube video for tonight because I've got a video going up tonight. Then hopefully I will be back on track for today. I might have to work a little bit long a little bit later than I wanted to but it is what it is. I always I feel like last time I filmed a little bit of a vlog I got Subway's lunch. Subway's like my one of my favourite like lunch places to order from. I don't really like any other lunch places. I feel like this is a really healthy option. I'm gonna sit here, eat this. I'm so excited for this cookie. And then we've got a lot of shit to do today. Mm. This sandwich is unbeatable. It's so much later on now since I, since I last spoke. I, I ended up editing that video and then I had to put some makeup on and film some content. And I've just gone in the bath and I've done all my everything shower my skin feels so nice and fresh i'm so like ready for a new week i can't wait to put some tan on later because this paleness i'm gonna have to put like a when i take my dog on a walk i'm gonna have to put like a big puffer coat on because it's still raining it's been raining all day and i don't and i've been trying to make sure i at least go on one walk a day I need to get out and get some fresh air even though it's winter. I had a really good plan of how today was going to be. I was hoping everything was going to flow really well, but it's not. <laughs> I'm just using today now as like a get myself ready for a productive week. I have done quite a lot on my to-do list. I've just not done everything. And do you know when you're just really planning on doing everything? I've seen Chintzia's nails the other day. I was, do you know like when it comes to around... This time of year, like I never know when I'm gonna fit in my nail appointment. It was this four weeks till Christmas, so if I get my nails done Thursday, then I'm gonna have to get them done after Christmas for the new year, and I feel like maybe that'll work. In at Chintzier's just had white chrome with some gold bows on, and I might copy, be a little copycat and get them done. I'm gonna actually film my tan routine in this vlog and i'm excited because i've been saying i'm gonna do that for ages and i just keep forgetting and i actually can't wait to put my tan on my reset day do you know the reset day where you do your everything show and you're also your tan routine then that's literally my favorite day i love this like little self-care self-care process of the day as much as i love my reset tanning days being this pale 
Honestly, I can't recognise myself when I'm this pale. Tie these hair up so it's out of my face. Honestly, I've been tanning since I was 14, so that's nearly six years, nearly seven. So when I'm pale, this is not a fun day for me. I, I just don't vibe with myself when I look like this. It's just not fun. Obviously, I've actually already scrubbed all my tan off. I do have a whole video doing my everything shower, which includes how I get my tan off in my last video or the video before one of them too so if you want to go and see how i get all my tan off go watch that but the tan that i actually use is this tanologist express tan it's the tinted self tan mousse this one's dark i do usually like to use medium but this was the only one in stock when i went to order it last week so i'm just going to use dark which i just use less pumps when i do my two layers of this because i always do two layers of tan i feel like that comes up the perfect color just put a glove on underneath my tan mate because when i was younger i never used to do this and i ended up or like the palm of my hands would be brown, well orange, sometimes green because I used to use the Bondi Sands darker than dark tan. That was not a fun time. I just take like four to five pumps of this and then we, we get on with it. I actually remembered to order some of this this week because last week I had to mix the last bit of my mediums and my darks together to actually do my tan because i forgot to order some i would love to be one of them girls that really embrace being pale but as soon as that tan is come off i will be doing my tan straight away the exact same day because i just can't go that long without doing my tan i like to just go in with two layers of tan i just feel like this gets me the perfect shade this tan mitt is also the tanology tan mitt by the way and this is one of my favorite tan mitts I also like the Coco in Eve one. The Coco in Eve one's a lot thicker, so I find that one doesn't really like come through. So I always wear a glove underneath, so nothing like transfers. I used to hate the days where I do my tan. I used to find this. I used to find my tanning routine a proper chore. But I feel like when you find a really good tan, it's no longer like a chore because this one dries so quick and so easy. I can't be dealing with tans that take ages to dry. Just repeating the same on the other arm, just two layers of this. You can already see the difference. I haven't done my neck yet, but you can already see the difference. This is just the most gorgeous tan. Can you see what I mean by the colour of this tan? The colour of this tan, in, tan is honestly beautiful. I look at my stomach compared to like my chest and my arms it's so nice i'm just gonna finish doing the rest of my body because obviously i can't do that on camera and then i'll come show you like the finished the finished look in my pajamas now honestly i feel so much better now that tan's on i've not done my hands yet but once I, once i've just brushed this hair i'll show you how i do my how i do my hands because i've been through so many phases with my hands my hands in my time at that honestly I feel like I've found the best way to pan my hands because I've been through so many points of my life where I'd have bright orange hands and before I used to get acrylic so this was like the first year of me tanning I'd always end up with like black tan in my fingernails it was honestly not a time fun time to be alive honestly that confident boost tan gives you is honest is my favorite feeling I'm just doing my hands now I always do my hands with the last bit on the tan mate I feel like this makes sure that you're not putting too much tan you don't want to be like pumping two two squirts of tan to be doing your hands this just keeps my hands from not going orange and I just like claw bend my fingers about make sure I'm getting in all them in all the lines this is the best way to do your hands just always use the last bit left on the tan mate. And that is my tan done. I'm going to go to bed now and then I'll come back in the morning just to show you the tan all in the morning.